we still got a little bit of time left in 2022. You're still looking at uh, moving to Wichita, Kansas. You're looking for some pros, some cons. What you need to know. Well, you're in luck because we're getting after it right now. Do me a solid. If you're getting any value out of this, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified every time we kick content out each and every week. You got a question? Reach out. I can't read your brain. Call, text, email. Do what you got to do to get that question answered. I'm here morning, noon, night, answering questions, helping people, and I love it. But I can't read your mind, so you need help. Reach out. Plugs aside, we're getting after it. So we're looking at the pros and cons. I did a similar video a while back. I'll link it. Uh, I'll link a cards around here somewhere. You can see the previous one. Uh, things have changed, but we're getting into it. Pros, cons, what you need to know, come in here. So some of the cons I was got, I got into previously, you know, construction, stuff like that. It's still here, but I mean, I'll be the first to admit it's getting a lot better. We're getting, we're getting, we're getting roads fixed, stuff like that. You know, it's it's kind of a pro, uh, a work in progress. Things are getting better. I'm just uh, not very patient. You're also going to find quite the mix of characters. Uh, one of one of the the uh, nicknames for our area, you know, the Bible Belt. So, you know, if that's not quite your your deal, you know it. I'll be the first to admit I've had I've had uh, real close friends leave for that reason. You know, me personally, I just want to get along with everybody. You know, that's the good thing about being adults. We don't have to necessarily believe the same thing, have the same beliefs, and still get along. Right? The weather. This is another one. I'm not going to get into too much detail on the weather. The last time I did, you guys tore me apart in the description. So the weather, yes, in the summertime, it gets hot, it gets muggy. Um, you know, this is gonna be subjective, like most of this stuff. I mean, I'm a bigger fella. I don't get, I don't do well in the heat. So it's it's kind of Jekyll and Hyde with the weather here. Some years it's just crazy, say the rain, tornadoes, hail, um, snow. You know, we've had some pretty extreme weather up and down. Um, they're already saying expect a, a abnormally cold uh, winter. So we're getting ready for that. But, I mean, if you're coming from some of these other areas, I've talked to people, you know, down in, say, Arizona or, I mean, even New York, um, Alaska, you know, it's nothing. That's great. You know, we're not, we're not comparing this. We're not comparing here to, you know, where you're coming from. It, this might not be nothing for you then, but you know, it's something to keep in mind. Not, not everybody's coming from, uh, from, uh, Arizona or Alaska, you know? So if you're coming from one of those bigger cities, you know, say Houston or, you know, LA, New York. I mean, it's going to be a, it's going to be a slower walk of life. So, you know, there is stuff to do. Like there's stuff to do. It's not that it's just, it's just a slower pace. It's not so, it's not so fast. Um, and that you got to be okay with that. If you're not, you know, this might not be for you, but it is one of those things you got to consider, you know, we will live in here, you know, and in, in my, my lifestyle mesh with that, you know, may, it may not. I mean, around here, honestly, a lot of stuff closes, a lot of stuff is going to be closing early. You're not going to have really too much to do after, after, you know, uh, two, you know, it's been, a, it's been a hot minute since I've closed down a, 
at a bar, so I don't even <laughs> I don't even know if it's two still. It's two. It's two, right? Let me know. My other Wichita people down there in the comments, let me know. It has been a hot minute. Cost of living. You know, this 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 is kind of a you know, uh, kind of two-sided thing. So, it, cost of living is going to be a lot lower here compared to some other places. The flip side of that, you might not necessarily be making as much money here as you would, you know, somewhere else or against the average. Just more things to keep in mind. So, before we jump to the pros, let's just... A quick recap. So, construction, that, that's really just kind of a, a small nitpick for me. But the, um, the weather, yes, the weather for sure. Um, we are part of Tornado Alley. Uh, your they're strong, strong political, religious kind of uh, around here. So, you know, I'm not getting into that, just throwing it out there, letting you know your cost of living is going to be, is typically going to be lower here than most places. I guess that's not necessarily a con. We'll do the flip of that. Um, for what you're doing, for the work you're doing, you're probably going to, you know, on average, you're, you're going to make less than you might living somewhere, say Portland, LA, you know, that, that's kind of a, a, a double-sided sword, you know, pro and con. So, but those are, those are solid things to keep in mind. Your lifestyle does, does this area support my lifestyle? Am I coming from a place where we're out all night? You know, you got to figure it out. I can throw it at you, but you got to figure it out. Let's get into the pros. Some good news. So we'll jump straight to cost of living. So yeah, if you're coming from one of these bigger places, yeah, that cost of living is a lot lower. I can't tell you how many people I've talked to from Cali, from New York. I do quite a bit of business from people even down in, say, Houston, uh, San Antonio, you know, down in Texas. And, you know, it is, they're so relieved and it makes me laugh every single time. You know, how much house could you can get? And not even houses, you know, just overall. I mean, it's going to vary. Some things are going to cost a little more here, say gas. Um, Went, just went to a uh, concert back in October uh, down in Dallas. And, you know, oil, a lot of oil wells, a lot of oil business, uh, cattle, all that other stuff down there. So, naturally, that stuff's going to be cheaper. And it is a lot cheaper. You know, um, it just kind of blew your mind. You don't think about it. You don't see it, you don't think about it, but yeah, duh, you know, oil, the oil wells are down there, the cattle are down there, yeah, of course it's going to be cheaper, you know, but yeah, you know, you are coming to that place where, you know, it is a slower walk of life. People are usually a lot more um, pleasant, friendly, um, it might weird you out. It might weird you out, but yeah, I mean, some of these people out there just, they'll give the shirt off their back. Good people. They mean well, you know, if you're a blue collar worker that manufacturing aviation, you're coming to the right place. We are the air capital of the world. A lot of blue collar jobs here. We're coming, we're coming into our own with healthcare as well. So, I mean, there is variety there as well. It's not just the blue collar jobs, but we have quite a few of them. These companies are always hiring. So, I mean, if you're coming here for work, you got options. Perhaps you've already done, you've already ran the gamut. You're ready to retire. You know, you're wanting to maximize that retirement money. You're coming, you're coming from these big cities, you know, come here. You can get, you can get that house for next to nothing. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've been in situations where a colleague of mine was telling me, oh yeah, they sold their house and, and, uh, yeah, they just came down here and paid the house off cash. 
or you know you know just situations like that where you know they sell their house there and it's manageable it's manageable you get so much more house for your money you know um, just and even beyond let's let's go beyond just here but since the last the last video that I did ha I have made with pros and cons the market was so much more different the demand was crazy homes going crazy over crazy over home selling so fast so fast you know people are paying all this money to get in the house they're waving their inspections they're waving their appraisals you know yes interest rates were lower a lot lower but think about it so now here another thing has changed yes it's flipped it's the inverse now if you're seriously thinking of moving you know this is going to be something you're going to need to do anyway if you're not looking to rent the demand is still there it's just not as crazy as it was you're not having to go crazy over having to work yourself out of the hole yes the interest rates are a little they are higher i'm not gonna dispute that but you have opportunity where a lot of these other buyers are going to wait it out hoping it goes back to the way it was which i don't have an hour i don't have a uh, hourglass or a crystal ball excuse me but you might be waiting a bit to get as low as we got you know low threes high twos might be waiting a bit you have options you have buy downs you're not having to pay crazy over you're getting to actually shop these homes you're actually getting closing costs covered you can you can work the the rate buy down into that you're getting repairs done that honey do list that you really don't want to do get knocked down you know so I mean this is this is going beyond just the pros and cons around here. You know, if this is uh something you need to do, get at it. If you get at it now, you'll be able to get it done before Christmas. So just a little food for thought. Do me a solid like, comment, subscribe. You got <laughs> you, you my fellow Wichita people, if I if I missed anything, throw it down in there. Throw it down in there. I mean, we have the obvious, you know, um, spots that are not so desirable, uh, homeless, um, you know, crime, drugs, all that stuff. That's everywhere. That's everywhere. So, I mean, come on. But, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. If you got a question, reach out. Call, text, email. Send the carrier pigeons, whatever you need to do to get that help. Until the next one, guys. See you later. <laughs>